it comes to figure skating, fashions on the ice get almost as much attention as the footwork bet. And joining us now is Susie Wall to talk a little bit more about that because you are watching for fashion on the ice. Absolutely. And you know what? So many people are talking about people like Johnny Weir and how he's so controversial and he's getting everybody talking. Yeah. And to me, therein lies the point. He's getting everybody talking, right? So whether it's his swan costume with the beak on the end of his fingers, <laughs> I, I dug that, by the way, yeah. Jeff Buttle. But, but you know what? It's getting people buzzing about the sport, which is a good thing. Yeah, right? yeah I, I suppose so. Yeah, definitely. He was, uh, <laughs> Jeff, Jeff, that didn't sound that convincing, Jeff Buttle. I, yeah. Well, uh, well, I, Jeffrey I mean, is here as well. I, I could respect definitely his, uh, his fashion sense and and, uh, I mean, they even mentioned when he was on the ice that he has a small clothing line in South Korea, which I thought was awesome. When everyone else was mentioning <laughs> oh, yeah. how, they, how they like race cars and uh, martial arts, and he had a small fashion line. So you got to take advantage to promote it when you get the chance to yeah, get a huge absolutely. audience, right? Now, you guys had a chance to go out and... Uh, kind of explore the uh, fashion side of your world yourselves, isn't that right? Absolutely. Well, for someone like Jeff, you know, we talk about this in the piece where suddenly once you become a world champion or uh, an Olympic medalist, uh, everybody wants a piece of you off the ice, right? So you're walking the carpet, you're posing for the flash bulbs, you need to have a day to night wardrobe. So Jeff and I had a little fun yesterday on a little sh shopping excursion at Holt Run Through, okay. and we lit it up. <laughs> Let's take a look. <laughs> So you win an Olympic medal and a world championship and suddenly you're a fashion superstar. How do you feel about that? <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about that. As an athlete, I live in, in this, athletic clothing, so this is not really my element. Well, like it or not, Jeff Buttle, you have been catapulted into the role of man of style and I'm going to show you how to dress from the broadcast booth to the dance floor after dark. How do you feel about that? Nice. Sounds like fun. Let's do this thing! <laughs> Yowza! I like How about it. it? It's beautiful. <laughs> How do you feel? I'm, I'm wonderful. This is so nice, this jacket. This is what I would call smart casual. Okay. Are you feeling smart and casual? I definitely am. <laughs> All of a sudden, I got changed and now I'm smart and casual. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny how fashion does that to us. <laughs> oh my god, I can't wait to see Jeff Buttle. Stop it! <laughs> Look at me, look at me. How do you feel? I feel great. I, I'm going to take these off. I feel a little pretentious when I wear sunglasses inside, but Giorgio knows his stuff. He does. He really does. Those are his uh, part of his accessories line here at Holt Renfrew. They carry pretty much the one-stop shop for action. So you're dialed and ready to roll, right? And I love this whole Brit bloke thing you've yeah. got going on. I was huh? thinking of picking up the British accent while I was in the change room. <laughs> but. So this would be fantastic maybe if you were uh, walking the red carpet or if you were attending the closing ceremony in the VIP box. Ooh. Dress it and then maybe it'll happen. <laughs> a 10.0! How do you yes. feel? Uh, like a million bucks. I mean, who doesn't feel good in a tuxedo? Love the peak lapel on this. You know what? It's contemporary, but again, it's that classic, classic item that every man of style needs in their closet. I feel right. amazing. Yeah, I don't, I mean, I don't feel like I'm at the Olympics. I feel like I own the Olympics. <laughs> Can I walk the carpet with you? Yeah, absolutely. We'll pose, right? Yeah, absolutely. You ready? And one, two, three. You look good in just about everything that Susie was putting on. Oh, you. I mean, there, it wasn't bad clothing, so <laughs> it definitely uh, it was very nice. It suited you, and uh, I believe our Olympic primetime host, Brian Williams, is also wearing Armani right now. I like him in some of that smart casual stuff. Maybe we should get him out of the suits and into some of that stuff, eh? Smart Maybe casual. some sunglasses him, inside. Yeah. Brian, are you listening? Maybe a nice pair of dark denim straight leg pants with a sport jacket? He can still feel kind of business on top, party on the bottom? What do you say? Oh, I'm so hoping Brian's up and watching this right now. I'm so hoping he's we'll up and watching. Him. Yeah. But it does say, it's interesting how many, I mean, if you're an athlete or if you're a celebrity in town right now, I mean, you, you might be going to an event, as you've been doing, or broadcasting, and and, and analyzing, mm -hmm. turning around, doing a cocktail party or something. So, you know, three outfits in a day wouldn't be out unheard of. Absolutely not. You know, I, for, for the Toronto Film Fest at times, I've packed 28 outfits for about <laughs> a week and a half. So, you know, you never know what's going to be sprung on you. You never know during the day exactly when we're talking about day to night pieces. Um, everybody needs, for example, a great sport coat. Uh, we're going through the list of what Jeff already has in his closet. He's already quite well 
uh, stocked in his uh, wardrobe walk-in. But in terms of adding in a few fun pieces here and there, the Olympics is the place to light up those items, right? And I want to see you on the dance floor. You promised me, right? Oh, definitely. We'll yeah. light it up, yeah. show off some of those amazing pieces. But he wears everything so well. And what was really interesting was seeing his background and his athleticism is when he comes out of the change room, he's like, <laughs> <laughs> he does the full-on, like, yeah. the shoulders back and the chin out and down. He was very easy to work with, an easy model. That's oh, fantastic. What did you guys think? We, we didn't get a chance to talk, going back to Johnny Weir, mm. the, the, the crown of roses, the, so the, the roses the crown, yeah, yeah, at the end. He busted that out. He did. I, I was just thinking to myself, wait until your marks come up before right. you before you sport the crown of roses. He was a good sport, though. I mean, I think the crowd thought, hey, he sh his marks should have been better. Yeah, they should have been. I thought so mm -hmm. as well, actually. Uh, I think the only thing I can think of is that they dinged him on uh, the edge change uh, of his let let's jump, which is a bit of a penalty. And that's the only thing I could think of. I, 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 I thought he was great. I did. Yeah. Yeah. And then, but with the rose crown, I mean, I think you have to count on him doing some kind of a statement at the end, right? It's very Johnny. <laughs> Wouldn't definitely. be him. Definitely, yeah. You know what? He's a super nice guy. I think uh, he speaks his mind, and, and the public either love, love him or hate him. And Best he's okay. costume so far, do you think? I'll ask you both. <laughs> Um, you know, I, I, I tend towards the, the classic styles. I liked uh, Stéphane Lambiel's costume. Right, best. that was great. Yeah, it was very nice. Did you have a favorite? I'm still carrying the torch for the swan. The Bjork <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> what about the dude in the sweater go. vest? Do you have the sweater vest? Uh, Mikhail Berzina, yeah, right, from right. Czech Republic. Yeah, he's an uh, up-and-comer. Right. Um, but I think he also sported a, a, something very similar in the short program. Okay, so not that original. He's not Well, I mean, original. he's uh, salmon. I thought that was kind of original. <laughs> well, yeah. well, we talked about the outfits. Now we want to take a look at the, one of the performances. Well, one of the gold performance last night, of course, from Evan Lysakos.